Putting up curtains to give you some privacy at home has not been enough since the Xaver 1000 was invented. This gadget might look like a weird camera, but it is actually a next-generation radar explicitly designed to see through walls. Yep, just like a superhero. But its power is to visualize objects hiding behind obstacles and show you a 3D model of them with exceptional resolution on a touchscreen display. Now, you might be wondering how this technology can imagine what's going on inside your house. Okay, maybe imagine is not the best word choice, since it is much more precise than that. This technology uses radio waves, and one thing we know about radio waves is that they can pass through walls, which is also why we can talk on our smartphones inside buildings or use Wi-Fi to transfer data from one room to another. So, while radio waves can penetrate walls, they don't make them transparent. That is why the Xaver 1000 can only generate an image of what is inside a building, but not show you the exact real deal. After all, it's not some hidden magical camera. When the radar waves from the Xaver 1000 hit something on the other side of a wall, like a person, a dog, or a television, they bounce back. The device catches these echoes and uses them to create a picture of what's behind the wall by making a smart image reconstruction in 3D using AI methods. What makes this technology super interesting is how detailed the picture can be. I mean, it's not just a vague blob. You can actually see where people are and how they're moving, whether they're sitting, standing, or lying down doing nothing. Plus, it can also tell the height of any object. This makes it incredibly useful for rescue teams. Firefighters, for instance, can be situated at a safe distance from dangerous surroundings and scan a large area quickly. They can see if anyone is trapped inside a room on fire without having to break in blindly. The Xaver 1000 was particularly useful during last year's earthquake in Turkey, helping locate trapped survivors and guiding rescuers to their exact locations. Although this gadget is mostly used for good, you might be wondering if someone could spy on your house with it. And yeah, in theory they can. But there is one thing you can do to prevent that, making the Xaver 1000 pretty useless. So, radio wave devices can penetrate almost any type of wall, including cement, drywall, plaster, brick, and even reinforced concrete. However, they can't penetrate through metal buildings or walls lined with metal or foil. This is because metal reflects radio waves, just like a mirror reflects light. And that means that all the energy emitted by Xaver 1000 will be blocked. In fact, the strange way metal reacts to radio waves is exactly what powers those high-tech scanners you see at airports. You know, the ones where you stand still, raise your arms, and a machine spins around you? These fancy scanners use something called Advanced Imaging Technology or simply AIT, which sends millimeter waves through a passenger's body. When you step into the scanner, it emits electromagnetic waves that bounce off your body and anything you're carrying. So no, people who control these machines can't see inside the body or through the skin, which means they can't detect things like tampons. But if a passenger has something dangerous in their pocket, the machine will spot it. And that includes any dangerous metal objects. Like I mentioned earlier, metal reflects radio waves, so that means it behaves differently compared to how waves interact with fabric or skin. These reflections help the scanner pinpoint the location of dangerous objects on a basic outline of the human body. In recent years, similar technologies have made significant breakthroughs. For instance, in 2020, a device called Ground Penetrating Radar unveiled all the mysteries of the ancient Roman city called Valerii Novi. This city, located approximately 30 miles north of Rome, is partially buried. But thanks to the Ground Penetrating Radar, we now know a lot about it. Valerii Novi had a population of around 3,000 people, and it boasted an elaborate public bath complex, a market building, at least 60 large houses and a rectangular temple with columns near the city's south gate. All of these hidden secrets were discovered and mapped out in just about four months. And they managed to uncover everything so quickly because they didn't excavate it with machines and shovels. They scanned it. That's right. 
ground-penetrating radar is widely used in archaeology because it can detect and map buried structures and artifacts without the need for excavation, which can be expensive and time-consuming. This radar operates similarly to devices like the Xaver 1000 or body scanners used at airports, enabling it to see through things. It works by emitting pulsed radar signals into the ground via a radar antenna and then detecting echoes that bounce back from objects. Discovering ancient Roman cities may seem distant to us, but similar technologies are much more present in our daily lives than we realize. Take self-driving cars, for example. They have the ability to see their surroundings by detecting obstacles, pedestrians, and other vehicles. This capability is made possible thanks to a technology called LiDAR, which uses lasers to emit pulses of light at incredibly high speeds to measure distances through a process known as time of flight. So, these laser pulses are emitted by this device, and when they hit an object, they bounce back to the LiDAR sensor. The system calculates the time it takes for each pulse to return, predicts locations and distances, and then creates 3D maps of the whole environment. These maps include details such as buildings, roads, and other vehicles. This information is then combined with other data, like the speed limit, to ensure safe navigation during the trip. Next on our list of technologies with a sixth sense is hyperspectral imaging. Imagine a camera that doesn't just capture the usual red, green, and blue colors, but instead captures hundreds of different colors across the entire light spectrum. This includes wavelengths invisible to the human eye, such as infrared radiation, ultraviolet rays, and even X-rays and gamma rays. A hyperspectral camera goes beyond what we can actually see by breaking down light into numerous bands or slices of colors. It separates light into individual wavelengths, or spectral bands, providing a two-dimensional image of a scene that reveals important and hidden information. We can use this technology in many different ways. For example, have you ever wondered how your fruits and veggies stay fresh and perfect in the store? That's because hyperspectral cameras can quickly scan and analyze large volumes of food products in real time. This device measures ripeness, conducts mold inspections, and even detects contamination. The idea is to reduce food waste while ensuring that only the best-looking and best-tasting products reach your local grocery store. Thermal imaging cameras work in a similar way, and they help keep our homes warm, especially during the cold months. Think of these cool gadgets as detectives that spot invisible clues about energy showing where your home loses heat or lets in drafts. What thermal imaging cameras do is detect infrared energy emitted by all objects based on their temperature. This energy is invisible to the human eye, but these cameras can see it all and translate it for us using an infrared detector. The camera's software processes the captured radiation data and translates it into an image. You know, I'm talking about those weird pictures that show how hot or cold things are. Different colors indicate different temperatures, with red typically representing hot areas and blue indicating cold. In short, you just have to point these cameras at windows, doors, and walls of your home and let the thermal images show you where the cold air is sneaking in. But it is a good idea to call a technician to help you with that. That's it for today. So hey, if you pacified your curiosity, then give the video a like and share it with your friends. Or if you want more, just click on these videos and stay on the bright side.